Hello everybody, Oridon here with my top 5 underrated scout cards to continue the top 5 underrated cards of each class videos. These are my opinions, so do take them with a grain of salt, but I do think these cards are a little underrated, mostly for streamers or casual players. I know a lot of these are pretty highly rated in uh, the uh, min-maxing and meta communities, but I just want to point these cards out in case you don't know about them. First card I have here is Sharpening Knife. It's very good in obelisk mode. I think it's very good in adventure mode as well when you can craft it or pick it up. But it works really well with hidden weapons. It can come from Wicked Craftsman as well. But it's a good source of sharp. It's a good source of damage with that sharp. And it just plays off of itself really well. It's a really high value card in my opinion. And you should definitely look into picking it up. Next card I have is Trace. Trace is an extremely good card. It enables anybody slower than your scout to do their combos, especially when it's upgraded to the yellow version. You can really dig out uh, cards you don't want from their opening hand to get a like level 2 and level 4 card both in your mage's hand to start, like uh, Cornelius's works out really well. Or just uh, filter out some cards you don't want at the start, like your bigger heals for Reginald or Otis. Oh, old as you want the high shielding right away. That's fine. But it's good to, on uh, even just playing on your fellow warrior or fellow scouts too. It's a great card. Check it out. Next one is Acrobatic Strike. This one's mostly for obelisk mode, but it does have its uses in uh, adventure. But there are a lot of things that tend to counter evade later on. So might consider leaving this out for act four if you're tanking with uh, your scout in the front line. But the evasion it gives is nice, it does a sizable amount of damage, and a little bit of block does help. The uh, blue version is what I think is usually superior because it targets any monster, but the yellow version has saved me <laughs> on an Ignito fight because of the meteor showers, and three of the meteors were dodged because of that. Uh, the next one I have is Eternal Lullaby. I think this one's great, especially if you're playing with six energy, be that in uh, Obelisk mode in higher ranks, weeklies with extra energy, or uh, just the equipment that gives you extra energy or lower madness. But if you start out with 6 energy, you'll be able to uh, play a blue tune-up and pull this out first turn, or if you're just playing uh, Gustav, you can just play this first turn anyways, and it's a humongous amount of speed control, a little bit of insanity, and some pretty sizable damage, as 21 damage is not something to sniff a uh, uh, sniff at. That was a terrible analogy. Anyways, great card. I think it's really underrated, even on some uh, obelisk mode tier list. But maybe that's just me. And the final card I have here is Ammunitions. I think this card is great in any form. I typically prefer the blue version, but the yellow version can work really well if you're playing with a uh, card that draws on skill or just uh, prepping for your next turn. It's a really early way in adventure mode and obelisk mode to get great ranged attacks like random arrows or barrage randomly. It usually pays for itself because you get the same discounted cost to play it. Blue one I think is worth it even on Sylvie because you are putting it right back into your hand with a discount. So even her level three you're getting the same discount pretty much. And it, the blue one works really well with Scavenge, as does the white one, because you'll be pulling it back out at that discount. But it can miss sometimes and give you nothing you need, but most of the times it'll give you a useful ranged attack. But that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching. Brush your teeth, have a great time, enjoy the game. Goodbye!